Hi guys, this is my first YouTube video in my YouTube channel and I would like to show you a DIY hack for the IKEA lag table which costs under $10. So guys, let's get started on a DIY hack on an IKEA lag table. So I do have a black lag table. So let's jump into the steps. As step one, let's clean the black surface really, really well with a multi-purpose cleaner and a tissue. So make sure you remove all the stains, the dust and everything and also take away all the liquid. Make sure that the table is really, really dry. And if you do have bumps on the table, make sure that you use a sandpaper to remove the bumps before you start cleaning. Now the lac table is ready. Let it dry for 5 to 6 minutes and post that we can jump into our step 2. So now let's get started with step 2. Collect your scissors, a credit card, a safety pin and of course the marble contact paper. You would need to place the contact paper across the lac table. The measurements are present behind the contact paper so it's not at all difficult to cut a piece of paper. And also remember you can do this in part 1 and part 2. There might, you might not get contact papers which cover the entire surface so do not worry it will not be noticeable after the project is done. So place the contact paper across the layer of table, uh, the top layer of the table and make sure that you do this process really, really slow. Decide on which side you want to paste the contact paper and take a credit card and push it really hard on the table surface, leaving no air bubbles on the table. Make sure that there are no air bubbles because if they are present, it's going to be really, really shabby and I'm not really sure if we have to redo this project and because the glue is so so strong i do not know how to remove it because it worked for me the first time and i'm glad it did so after this is complete you might see air bubbles in and around so i'll give you a small tip if there are air bubbles you need not worry if they are small if they are large of course we need to redo it if it's small just take a safety pin and pop the air bubble out and it do not leave rust marks on it so make sure you take a new safety pin now that we are done with the top layer of the table you can either decide to leave it as is or you can make the sides of the table as well and stick the contact paper there. I wanted the look of a marble slab over the wooden table so I decided to do three fourths of the sides of the table with the contact paper. And that worked pretty well for me because that's the look that I wanted. You can choose whether you want to leave it as is or you want to do the sides as well. So since I wanted to do the sides, I did the same process again with a credit card. I took a measurements and then really stuck it really, really slow after marking the measurements on the back of the contact paper. Now that we are done with it, let's take a look at what the final results are. I'll drop in a few pics of the side view and the top view. I use this as a side table near my couch. I placed a lamp, a decorator plant item and a few golden accessories. I also put some lamps over it during Diwali to test the heat resistance of this and it worked really really well. I'm really happy with how this project turned out. I'm really amazed at the quality of the contact paper. I will leave a link below in the description box for the contact paper and let me know what you think. I also wanted to quickly show you guys what I did with the leftover contact paper. I did three mini DIY projects with that. Please let me know what you think about them as well. That's all for today guys. Thanks for watching. 